Commitment 2024 coverage this morning with results from the latest Franklin and Marshall College poll just out this morning. And it's showing an incredibly tight race for president here in Pennsylvania. Among likely voters, you see former President Trump just barely ahead, 50 to 49 percent. But when you drill down into the results of this poll, that difference is actually less than one percentage point. So really, it is a coin flip at this point. This is the first FNM poll to include likely voters. The previous polls from September and August that had Harris with a slight lead over Trump, those were among registered voters, which is always a larger pool of voters. So it really depends on who shows up to the polls. Potentially uh, could be the key deciding factor here in Pennsylvania. The polls also been asking for several months and several years, actually, if you and your family are better off financially right now than you were a year ago or worse off or the same. And you see a pretty pessimistic picture here from uh, voters in Pennsylvania. 17% say they're better off. 43% say they are worse off. This has gotten a little better in the better off numbers the past uh, couple of uh, polls in August and September. But you can see this, these numbers have stayed pretty much the same since then. Looking back to the last poll before the 2020 election, this worse off number was all the way down to 13. So you can see really how things have changed in how people are perceiving the economy. The race for Senate, uh, when we talk about how interested people are in the election, it's kind of hard in a swing state to tune out some of all the political noise. But you do see that most voters uh, in this poll are very interested in what's going to be happening in the uh, on election day. 18% say some white, only 6% say they're not very interested in the election. Now to the Senate race, which is also very tight. Again, this is among likely voters where you see that uh, Bob Casey only one percentage point ahead of Republican Dave McCormick. Casey, like Harris was, leading with a larger lead among registered voters. But with the likely voters, it is extremely tight.